Blastery hillside on the edge of the Brecon Beacons is the perfect location to uh, talk about tripods. Uh, it's one of those things that most photographers go through several stages. They'll try lots of different ones. Um, usually when you're first starting out, you'll um, buy a, a cheaper tripod because it saves money and you're not sure if you're going to use it or not. Um, which is fine because obviously you need to determine whether you're actually going to use it or not before spending any serious money on it. But to be honest with you, when you do sort of settle on your um, ultimate need, I suppose is the best word, it's buying cheap really is a false economy. I, I've lost track of how many cheap tripods I've gone through before I'm settling on the ones that I use now. Um, I've been using Vanguard tripods for quite a few years now, um, even before the ones that I've got now. Um, always found them extremely reliable, very robust, and they've never let me down. Um, I do tend to use two tripods. Um, one is sort of a larger, heavy duty one for if I'm up in uh, rugged terrains because I shoot bracket, bracketed shots then I need to know that I've got that stability there in sort of all conditions even sort of blustery conditions like this um, it took me a long time to get a travel tripod um, only because I didn't think I'd use it that much and but it's been a godsend, the weight difference, and I, I couldn't really envisage carrying my full-size tripod with me now when travelling. It would just be um, impossible and a nightmare and heavy, but it serves a purpose. Obviously everyone's case needs are different. It's best to establish exactly what your needs are, what features you need, etc. Research is key. Um, that's all I can say. Plenty of research, and then when you found the selection of tripods that have the feature set that you require, then, like I say, don't go cheap. It it really is a Term, a false economy that's the word false economy um, because it'll end up breaking it won't be up to the job and you'll just end up buying another one and then buying another one and buying another one I mean my Vanguard one that I'm using now my main tripod which is sorry I've got to look it up on my card uh, the 3 plus 263 CB had it a number of years now and it's been absolutely bulletproof. It's been amazing, never let me down. Obviously there are, tri they do tripods that have got other more advanced features if videography is your thing. Um, and I can't fault it to be honest with you. It's, it's been brilliant. I mean, there's been newer models out and I haven't even been tempted to upgrade because I've been so pleased with this one. Uh, the travel one that I use uh, is the VO3 GO 235AB. Um, again, very similar feature set, uh, but in a package that is so small, so light, it'll just go in your suitcase or on the side of a camera bag and you won't even notice it's there. Uh, I recommend um, legs that can sort of be dismantled and cleaned because if you're ever shooting near the beach you get sand, grit or, and that sort of thing and it can be very hard wearing on tripod joints so again that's another feature to be aware of but just research. So in summary, um, what I'd recommend is buying cheap is a false economy. Do lots of research to start with, 
see exactly what features you'll need. Uh, try and have a picture in your mind what you're going to be using it for. It might well be that you don't need a big heavy tripod, uh, a lighter travel one will do for your general photography. So that's another consideration. Um, you might find that you'd go with a, a similar setup to what I've got where you've got a, a more fully featured tripod and then a, a travel one which is lighter, similar features but just in a, a lighter, smaller package. And that's all I can say really is just research, research, research. Obviously, um, as a Vanguard ambassador, I'm always going to recommend their kit. Um, but that's only because even before becoming an, an ambassador, I've been out here using their kit out in the field and it's been so reliable and I wouldn't have any qualms about recommending it to anyone. They've got a very big range of tripods. Um, just I'll leave a link to the website below so just go and have a look and I'm sure you'll find something that will suit your needs and at a very reasonable price in comparison but anyway if you like these videos then please like and subscribe it's always uh, helpful to the channel and I've been Scott signing off until next time